Frida Kahlo, was hit by a tram in September 1925, at an intersection near the San Juan Market, in Mexico City, by a bus on which she was traveling. She was only 18. It is said that she was found completely naked, the clothes draped on impact, covered in gold dust. Her bloodied body, in fact, was covered by chance with a golden paint coming from someone's burst bag. A piece of iron fragment from the carriage protruded from her body pierced at the level of the pelvis. So I lost my virginity, she then said, as the iron piece of hers came out of her vagina. The terrible wounds on the broken body, the collarbones, ribs and spine broken in several places, the right leg broken in 11 places and a shattered foot configured a scene from a Tarantino film. A miracle saved me, he said, because at night in the hospital, death danced around my bed. Frida, in fact, remained immobilized in her bed with a cast from head to toe for an entire month. For the next two years she was in traction in a special orthopedic corset. The first entry she managed to make in her diary, good, I'm starting to get used to suffering. In these junctures, the spark ignited within herself and the girl decided to paint precisely to distract herself and not go crazy with pain. Her father made her a stretcher in order to allow her to write while lying down. Her sister attached a large mirror under her canopy. I studied my face, the slightest movements, the folds of the papers, the contours of the luminous objects that surrounded me. I saw myself all the time. Frida is from within. Frida is without. Frida is everywhere. Frida is infinite. Kahlo later said. In her stillness, Frida found in the drawing daring impulses of her soul that made her confess one day to her mother, I have something to live for. For the love of painting. Self. Portraits became the main plot of the artist's work. I write myself because I spend a lot of time alone and I am the subject I know best. Kahlo shared his thoughts. I never paint dreams or nightmares. I paint my reality. The girl underwent more than 30 operations. Her legs were covered with scars, which she preferred to hide under the long skirts of traditional Mexican dresses. An incessant aching pain became her constant companion until the act of her death. The only rays of light in this dark pain were her brushes and colors that she chose from time to time. The willpower of this woman, her boundless courage are admirable as she demonstrated to the whole world that nothing is impossible for those who are able to bear pain and indeed make it a stepping stone towards more lovable and awareness, rich landscapes of life. We can conclude by saying that the cruel car accident was the flame that lit the artist making her immortal.